YouTube. Today I want to show you a technique that I created for training loose leash walking when out on a walk and using food. This little tutorial comes from my presentation that I'm going to be presenting at the Pet Professional Guild's Force Free Summit that is coming up this November, November 11th through 13th. And there's still spaces, so if you want a ticket, you have to go to their website, the Pet Professional Guild's website, and sign up there. It's going to be in Tampa, Florida. So um, I'm really excited to be doing this because leash walking is one of my favorite things. And this specific technique I just had to share with everyone to give you a little tidbit, a little taster of what's to come. But the inspiration for this technique is Lacey. You know, we tried everything to train Lacey to walk on a loose leash, but every time you give her a treat on a walk, she's walking nicely, you give her a treat, suddenly after eating the treat, she'd run and hit the end of the leash, which is very frustrating because she was doing so well until you give her the treat. And that happens with a lot of client dogs. So, I came up with this way of stopping that from happening. And basically, what we're teaching the dog is, after eating the treat, the dog has to then wait for permission to move forwards. So I will show you how to do that right now. You want to train this exercise in a non-distracting environment at first. So after a couple training sessions where you've really built the behavior, then you can attempt to try it on a walk when your dog's been highly reinforced for doing it. So what you're going to do is you're going to give your dog a treat and then just after they're done eating it, you're going to ask your dog for eye contact using an attention noise or their name that you've previously trained. If you haven't trained an attention noise, there will be a link to a video tutorial down here that you can follow. So, once you've asked for your dog's attention and they look at you, you're going to click and then reinforce. So, by repeating this over and over again, what you're teaching your dog is that after eating a treat, they can predict that they're going to have to look at you afterwards to get more food instead of what usually happens on a walk where they're walking perfectly, you feed them, they know they're not going to get a treat for a very long time, so they rush ahead. The end result is that you're going to feed your dog a treat, they're going to look at you expectantly, and the reward is going to be access to the environment. So they've eaten their treat, they wait, they look at you, and then you move forward saying, let's go, and the reward is to keep walking. Okay, so here goes. First I'm going to feed her a treat, and then make the kissy noise, and then reinforce her for looking at me. So I'm going to feed her a treat, and I'm putting it on the floor because she's already offering lots of attention. Good job. After practicing this exercise multiple times, you can see if your dog might offer you the behavior of giving you eye contact after eating the treat. So I'm just going to warm her up by repeating it one more time. We're going to feed a treat. Good job. Good job. Awesome. Yes. Yes. Now you can add in some steps. So you're going to walk along, click your dog, feed, and see if your dog will offer you eye contact. If your dog doesn't, immediately make the kissy noise, give them a hint, and click and reinforce your dog. If for some reason your dog's not responding to their attention noise, you simply need to go back and really work on it and reinforce it so it's a strong behavior. Good job! So the final step is you're walking along on a walk, you have your food and your dog's being awesome, you can say yes and reinforce them, but walking nicely at your side, and then you're going to wait, wait for eye contact, and then give them the cue, let's go, and continue walking. When working on this exercise inside, it's okay if you can't get your dog to stop looking at you. So you're going to just feed a treat or put a treat on the ground and then click and reinforce your dog for looking at you after they eat the treat. But when you're on a walk, I wouldn't suggest feeding your dog for looking at you while you're walking because what that can teach them is that they only walk on a loose leash while they're watching you and then when they're not watching you, they, they forge ahead. So the moments that you want to initially mark when you're walking is when the dog is walking at your side but not staring at you or paying attention to you. They're just walking calmly at your side, enjoying their life, looking around. That's when you're going to mark, feed, and then after that you're going to wait for eye contact before giving the dog permission to continue walking with a cue like, let's go, or whatever 
barbecue you want to use. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I look forward to seeing everyone at the PPG Summit in Florida.